Happy Monday, boys and girls. So for the past few weeks, we've been working on how-to books, right? I showed you things that I can do, like how to make coffee and how to carve a pumpkin. And you showed me things that you can do, like making your bed and brushing your teeth. Last week, I showed you how to carve a pumpkin. I showed you and then we put it in a graphic organizer using our sequence words, right? First, next, then, and last. After putting it in our graphic organizer, we switched this information, we transferred it onto our pages. So we said, first, we cleaned the pumpkin. So first, I cleaned. Next, I stenciled, right? I took a marker and I drew the picture onto my pumpkin. Then, I carved it. Then, I cut my pumpkin. And last, I put a light in it so that it would glow in the dark and it became a jack-o'-lantern. This week, we are going to our next step. Do you know what our next step is? After we do our picture, what do we put? Yeah, we put labels. So today, we are going to work on labeling and putting sentences. Yeah, I'm excited to do this with you. And we're actually gonna work on that all week long. We're gonna use these pages to label and add sentences on these lines. So I need you to have your pages from last week. You should all have pages that look like this because we all did the same thing, right? This week or this past week, instead of having you do your own, I made sure and asked you to do the same thing as me, right? So make sure you have your pages. Let's get started. This is the first page of my how-to book. So first, do you remember what I did? Yeah, I had to clean the pumpkin, right? So what are the important things that I need to label? Well, I'm carving a pumpkin, right? So I should label the pumpkin. We're gonna sound out pumpkin, and we're gonna find the first sound. When we find the first sound, that's the letter we're going to write next to our pumpkin. So, pumpkin, p, um, p, k, n, ooh. There's seven sounds, pumpkin. If we look for the first sound in pumpkin, we have p, p, pumpkin. The first sound in pumpkin is p. So, what letter are we going to write right here? What letter makes p? P, p, p. like my name, Patricia. P, pumpkin. We're only gonna worry about writing the first letter of what we want to label today. So P for pumpkin. What else do we have? We have the insides, right? We had to scoop out all the insides. So insides, what's the first sound in insides? Eh, 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 insides. So we're going to put that first sound, what letter makes I? Like igloo or insect. I, insides. So we took the insides out of the pumpkin when we did what? What was the first step? We cleaned it, yeah. So next, we are going to write a sentence to tell our readers what we were doing in the picture. What was our first step, do you remember? Yeah, we cleaned the pumpkin, I cleaned it. So that's what 
what we're going to write. I clean. Ooh, but we have to use a word first, one of our sequence words. What do we use first? Yeah. If we don't know how to spell first, that's okay because we each got one of these. I highlighted our sequence words. First. First begins with f. That letter is F. So we're going to look at F and find first. First is the first word. So that's the word we're going to write. So if I look at it, it's F. I R S T. So right here, I'm going to write F I R S T. You can copy it straight from your personal word wall. First, what's the next word I said? First, I. So how do we spell I? Yeah, I. And it's always, when we spell the word, an uppercase I, a big I. So I, first I, clean, clean. If we say the word clean and look for the first sound, hmm, what sound will we hear? Let's see. Clean. K -k -k. What's the first sound? What is a letter that makes k? Yeah, C. So we're going to put k. What if you don't know the rest of the sounds? What if you can only hear the first sound? Is that okay? Yeah, that is fine. You put whatever letters you can hear, all right? You should write first and I, both of those words, because both of those words are in your personal word wall. So I do want you to write first and I. Go ahead and write first and I. Then write the C for K in the word clean. If I don't know the rest of the sounds, I can put a line there. That line shows that I know more sounds come after that k. I just don't know what letters make those sounds. Is that okay? Yeah, we have not learned all of our sounds yet. It's okay if you don't know them. First, I clean. After my sentence, I put a period. And that is something we got to add to our five-star writing chart, a period. An ending punctuation. Let's check. Do I have my finger spaces? Yeah. Is it nice and neat? Yeah. Is my first letter capitalized? Yeah, it is a big letter. Hmm. Does it make sense? First, I clean. Is that what I did in my picture? Yeah, I cleaned the pumpkin. So first I cleaned the pumpkin, I clean, right? And then in my other pages, I show what to do after that. This is where we're going to stop for the day. We labeled our first page, our first picture, and we wrote our first sentence, right? First, I clean. If you have written this down on your first page, you are all pal, okay? Nice job, boys and girls. We completed the first page in our how-to book about pumpkin carving. For homework, I want you to click on the Seesaw link, and I want you to post a picture of your first page of our pumpkin carving how-to book. So it should look just like mine right? Because we're using the same drawings and the same kind of pages. You should have the first letter of the labels for pumpkin, right? And insides. You should also have the sentence down that I modeled for you. First, I clean. Remember, you need to have first 
and I, because both of those words are on your personal word wall. All you have to do is copy them, right? The next word, clean, I want you to try your best to hear the sounds. I already put the C for you. If you don't know the rest of the sounds, that's okay, put the line. If you wanna to try to put the rest of the sounds, please do. But after you're done, take a picture and post it onto Seesaw using the link. All right, thank you. I will see you tomorrow to do page two.